Hey guys, welcome back to Tokyo Mirage Sessions. In this episode, we're going to take on our next challenge here in the 106 building. And oh boy, I did a lot of leveling off screen. We are all now level 10, and we're doing pretty well on our skills as well. For the most part, not too much has changed. We do have some now more passive skills, so that's really nice. But now, all of our weapons have been capped. And I also recommend if you're having troubles coming into this battle, just really max out your... SP and you should be fine, but yeah, now Toma has strength boost and also Itsuki has sheer fire. So, so far, we're doing pretty darn good, but how well will we fare against the next opponent of this devilish game? However, shall we defeat <gasps> stairs? And wow, these are literally the most dangerous stairs physically possible. First up, no railing. Second up, it's on the side of a a building. Wow, how do we not just fly off because of the wind? Anyways, there's a dangerous presence beyond this door. What should we do? Uh, hide the UI. No! We're gonna go inside and take on the next boss of the game. Well, there's not really a boss, more like a load bearing, but eh, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> いや、ビンゴだ。あそこを見ろ。お姉ちゃん、やっと追いついた。ああ、随分と感心を客さん。<笑> ついているミラージュの成果も知れない。あの、ひどい言い草ね。人のせいにするとかって違うよ、いつきくん。こんなのがお姉ちゃんの本心のわけがない。だって私は知ってるよ。お姉ちゃんが毎日夜遅くまでたくさんたくさん練習してたこと。お姉ちゃんはいつだって前向きに頑張って
産んで眠れなかったから私より可愛い子が何人も聞いていく私より歌がうまい子が何人も潰れていく私なんかがアイドルをやろうなんておこがましいってすぐに気づいたわそれなのにみんなは無責任に期待して重いよ私には背負いきれないこれ以上幻想を押し付けるのはやめて私に才能なんてなかったのよそんなことないアイドルをしてた時のお姉ちゃんはキラキラ輝いてた歌ってる姿からこの仕事が好きだっていうお姉ちゃんの気持ちが伝わってきた何を言おうと無駄よ綾香はそんな軽々しくて無責任なあなたたちにうんざりしてるの違うそんなの信じない私が信じるのは私が見てきたお姉ちゃんの姿だけなんて関係なくお姉ちゃんはアイドルだよ可愛くてかっこよくて大好きだから今でも私はお姉ちゃんの大ファンだもん音が聞こえるこれは翼の声よろしくないわねよろしくない邪魔なんてさせない私たちにはやるべきことがあるのよ So while Tsubasa was trying to reach out to her sister, her Mirage decided, you know what? I don't want to deal with this and just ran away and summoned some random bullcrap enemies for us to beat up. So this is sort of a mini boss versus the Umber Pegasus Knight, who's going to die really quickly. First up, honestly, just target the Man of War and use Empty Wave. There's really no reason not to if you have one SP to blow. And as great as this animation is, we've seen it before, so I'm just gonna knock him out. And if you've leveled up your skills a decent amount, you should trigger a session and destroy a lot of Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, the enemy can also use sessions, and that's kind of bad, but... What? You, you can attack two times in a row? And luckily, the poison on this. Okay, I'm fine with that, but... Yeah, now we need to dispose of this other enemy. Luckily, since we have Itsuki's leader skill, some of the damage from that previous session did carry over onto the next enemy. And now, hmm. I know for a fact Tsubasa can take another Zon to the face, so I'm actually going to use Tarukaja just to speed this battle up a tiny bit. Now, I don't honestly know if Tarukaja affects item skills and. Ooh, oh, oh, I've dodged. Awesome. Okay, I <laughs> already dodged it. But I'm going to do it anyways because, yeah, the reason I bought these darts is to just kind of speed this battle along. By no means is it required, but since my cleave attack is not really going to do a ton to this target, I might as well just, you know, use some of the items I got. Yeah, this... Whatever that is. I don't know. It's supposed to be a mirage, but it's just sort of, sort of stinging weird. Is weak to Zon and fire attacks, and also bows. So if you have darts lying around, use them, and hopefully you can just trigger some sessions. Really, this is not meant to be a super difficult battle, and yeah, we can pretty much eat those all day. So, really, just come at her with your strongest attacks. Hopefully you have Empty Wave, and you have decently leveled sessions, and you should be fine. It's honestly just not that hard, and well, this is a little overkill, but hey, whatever, we get the prestige, and nice! We beat the Pegasus Knight, and as a result, we're gonna get a ton of EXP. Unfortunately, though, most of our weapons are actually fully inherited, which is kind of annoying and wow Toma could not get three more yeah Toma is getting the short end of the stick man literally for this whole thing how the heck does she get high 
luck. Oh, I think I must have used a soda. Anyways, that mini boss has been defeated. Let's move on. ちょっと待ってくれ。追うのは賛成だけど、一度落ち着いた方がいいかもしれない。綾葉さんについて少し気になったことがあって。気になったこと。綾葉さんに取り付いていたミラージュ、嫌味な感じだった。それは私も同感だけど。もったいぶっといて言いたかったのそれかよ。それだけじゃない。もう一つ気になったんだけど、俺たちの声、綾葉さんに届いてないんじゃないかな。思い出してみてくれ。綾葉さんはあのミラージュ
the man of war. I just, that thing's not a man. It's just a stick. I don't. <laughs> I don't get it, anyways. That's also weak to Zio. How the dump did I forget that? Okay, so we're gonna go for the cleave because that will make a session go on way longer and then just finish off the two. Yeah, the Cavaliers are a little bit tough and the Savage Encounter for this area is like a bunch of really strong ones and Nightmare Poof. I think that is the item that I needed, hopefully. And we got Deep Sea Glow, Man of War Force. Okay, that might be, oh yeah, we got two hooves. So that might be enough to get the new weapon that I want. With that, Toma is now level 11. My boy, eventually you will be super useful. I promise you that. And also, yep, we got surefire. Yes, dang. See, really, you have to ask me. It's a skill. Why would I say no? I don't want to inherit that skill that literally has zero drawbacks. We're a little bit on the nitpicky side, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Anyways, yeah, this is honestly a pretty difficult area. I'm not going to lie. Also, yeah, here's the chest key. The, the bracelet of eternity. Cool. That's a new accessory. But I don't really care about accessories. Also, there's a side quest here. Not sure. Oh, crap. <laughs> not sure if I want to do this yet or not, but yeah. Requests in this game are kind of odd in the sense that, yeah, you do get quests, rewards, but at the same time, you can only do one at a time. And man, I just, I really don't know how to feel about these. I will definitely let you guys know if there are any quests really worth doing. But yeah, since I'm really beat up and, well, no, Subasa got her final skill. I'm actually going to teleport out of here and fuse up some new weapons because, well, we could really use them. So let's go do that. And now that we have some new Performa, let's try and fuse up some new weapons and... パフォーマーが集まるミラクルステージ、ブルームパレスへようこそ。翼お姉ちゃんのお姉ちゃんを助けるために特別な歌が必要なんだよね。もしかしたらその歌ってレディアントユニティで覚えられるかも。新しいカ
cool. I get it, this is a department store and all, but would they really sell that here? I don't see. Anyways, this is actually gonna be a little bit on the tricky side, but I'm gonna try and show you how to get every single chest in this area and hopefully get through it relatively quickly while showing off every single enemy type that we can encounter. Let's hope I can accomplish all that crap. It's actually a lot of stuff to do in one video, but you know what? I like challenging myself. And sadly, that was not the enemy I'm looking to encounter, but we can make a new carnage for, well, Toma, which is really good, and I hope I get that. Also, here's the teleporter, so you don't have to keep walking down the elevator. Anyways, I probably should have got that first instead of teleporting back immediately, but I really did want to get those new weapons for Toma, etc. So hopefully you will be the next enemy I need to defeat, and if not, I'm gonna be really annoyed. And if he is, well, that's gonna be fantastic, because then we can just focus on clearing out all the puzzles here, and what do we get? Oh, there we go. So, first up, we got a troll. And if you know how I feel about trolls, you're gonna wanna beat this thing as quickly as possible. But, uh, yeah, he's really resistant to physical attacks and not much else. And right behind him are the Dark Barbarians, who I actually already have the data for, but that's because, well, I bought them off screen while grinding, and there wasn't really much I could do about it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and actually try and focus down the Myrmidon first. That might be stupid. I never said I was smart. And yeah, now's the point where we're gonna start getting a lot stronger. No, duh. But no, quite literally, I already leveled up uh, Fire Strike again. So it's like, yeah, we're we're getting pretty darn strong here. And I believe we can use this against the troll and get a session going. Now the trolls have so much HP because they resist literally almost all physical attacks. So it's kind of tough taking them down, but. They are somewhat decent sources of EXP, and oh my god, could you... I'd appreciate it if you did not session and swing your axes around. Okay, thank you for dodging us, Subasa. All right, so let's think about this. I know for a fact that we can finish off the Ironclad Myrmidon, but at the same time, I'm a little bit low on HP. Using Tarakaja would kind of be a waste. This may trigger a session, though, if I recall correctly. No, it quite, yes it did. Awesome! Unfortunately, it kind of went onto the target that I'm not too big a fan of, but because of Itsuki's, like, major skill, I cannot remember what it's officially called, his skill, the session will keep going and actually not take resistances into account, so that's really great. I'm gonna go for the Zeo. Will not trigger a session because I don't think it's actually weak to Zeo. It was! Okay, I've been. I'm happy to be wrong for once. Um, Now we just focus on the barbarians. So let's see. I really do want to show off full throttle though. Mm. You know what? Screw it. We, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna waste some SP. Why the heck not? So this attack, first up, I'm all about this. This looks stinking awesome. So, Kane, or. Khan being a cavalry. Oh my, what? 300 HP? Holy crud. I kind of wish I didn't waste that and use it on the troll. Um, Being a cavalier, he rides a motorcycle. You know, that's just common sense. Okay. Everyone knows this. So yeah, that looks really sick and awesome. But we're going to take down the another barbarian. And awesome. We pretty much encountered every single enemy I needed to in this area just in that one battle. So that's great. What is not great is the fact that, yeah, Tsubasa still doesn't have her next weapon. But after I grind up a little bit in here, I should be able to grab that eventually. But yeah, we really need to heal up actually. Holy crud. But yeah, now that we've taken down those enemies, I'm pretty much just going to try and get through this dungeon as quickly as possible. Since if I'm being totally honest, the rest of the combat in this area isn't totally entertaining. But hey, that's just my opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I don't get any more encounters. I still need to be very careful, though, of the savage encounter in this area, because holy turds, it's going to be a little tough to take those down. Luckily, I do have a smoke machine, which pretty much functions like a smoke bomb, and basically just lets me evade any encounter. But yeah, now I'm going to push the mate outfit to, like, kind of the left switch, just because I can get an extra treasure. Now, I want to move this, I believe, to the left, because, yeah, we need to open up the door. So now it's in this... Very odd pose, kind of like this. Hey, keep my hands to my side because we need to open up that door. Because if we don't, then we can't actually progress anywhere else. So now that I've broken this, we can do a lot more on the fifth floor. I know this is a really confusing place if you skip all the animations. No beaching, not bad. If you skip all the animation. Oh my gosh! 
As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, yeah, this might be a kind of difficult dungeon to fully understand if you skip all of the dress animations, and that sounds really odd to be saying in an Atlas game. Yeah, if you skip the dress animations, it's just so difficult. Anyways, so the point that we made to break that door is because now we can enter this area from the side and get to where we're supposed to go. So the point of this dungeon is you're supposed to oh, stick it. They keep launching two at me, and I gotta be really careful, like, not to enter their, like, it, like their personal space so I don't start the battle. But yeah, the point of this area is we're trying to get to a very specific area. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of a detour, by the way, just to get an extra chest. Not required at all, and I could talk to this dude, but... He's scary, and I don't want to talk to him. He could beat me up for all I know, gosh. But, uh, no, I'm going to actually backtrack a tiny bit so we can get this chest. There's a good reason for that. It's an easy chest to miss. Is it really the greatest thing on Earth? No, it's kind of just money. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it could be a large amount of money. I'm not actually sure how much money I am making in this game, if I'm being totally honest. But more importantly, are these drugs. Yeah, I don't really know why this is here. Detritus times 10. It's a key item. So I assume it'll be maybe used in crafting or something. I honestly have no idea, but I thought I'd show that off right now. Now what we gotta do is loop all the way back around and change the purple dress's position again. Yeah, honestly not a fan that you have to just go through so much pain and suffering to get that. Boy, what are you gonna do? I believe this is already in the right position. Yes, it is, so... All we gotta do now is go back down and change the purple dress's position again. It doesn't really take too long. Honestly, this dungeon, now that I'm playing it and making videos of it, it seems so simple, like it's just the easiest thing on Earth. But during practice, guys, oh my gosh, it took me like a million and something tries. I don't really know why, but now we need to put this in the middle position because we're gonna eventually have to get back down to this floor. Yeah, it's kind of on the weird side, and there's a lot of backtracking, but if you want to get that chest, you pretty much have to do this. I don't really know why. I apologize if this is the most entertaining thing. If that's a oh my gosh, and I know I can't even use Estoma to get rid of all these enemies, because it doesn't work that way, but jeez! So many enemies, man, but yeah, so now we're going to activate this, and now we want to use the right switch, because that will take us to the highest floor of this dungeon. And this is kind of where it ends. Yeah, this is literally the whole concept of the puzzle. Is it the funnest puzzle to solve in the universe? Oh my god, what the dump is up? There's golden shadow mirage. Okay, they're not shadows, but mirages? I I did not know that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to use my smoke machine since we actually did not get into a savage encounter, luckily, and just end this battle. Well, I learned something new today. Never actually saw that before, but uh, back to continuing with the dungeon. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back to the ground floor again. And goodness, if there's a lot of like dungeons like this, I might have to actually be doing some speeding up because, wow, this kind of gets kind of tedious, not gonna lie. But yeah, we basically just keep going around in circles so we can get back to the ground floor and go up to the highest level. And now that we've done this, the level's basically over. Once you reach the seventh floor, the dungeon's pretty much done. Not that it was like a bad dungeon or happy, it's over, it's just, it's kind of just like that. Yeah, you fight the med boss and you're done. <laughs> I don't know, it's still pretty, well, we're not done yet, yeah. Two chakra drops, free treasure. Fun fact though, if you see a savage encounter coming at you, and you open up a chest, it's actually gonna reset the encounter thing. Oh my gosh, I thought that was savage, I would've been so scared. I do not even want to run into one of those, but... Uh, we're, it's, it looks like we're not going to encounter a single one in this dungeon, and I'm totally happy with that. And I'm literally just whacking these spirits like it's no <laughs> It's not my business, but anyways. Now that we've reached this teleporter, I'm gonna actually end things off because, well, I desperately need to prepare for the last encounter of the first chapter which is going to be right past this door. As always, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I helped you get past the first dungeon if you were struggling. But that is all the time I have for today. I'm pretty much going to have to grind up to level 14, though, and I'm going to be showing you the differences between my stats and stuff in between episodes. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And if you don't have a great day, not my fault. All I, all I can do is hope. See you in the next video where we go kick some more Mirage butt. Bye.